All right, thank you. Thank you, Eric. Photos of local beachgoers drawing criticism, especially from national news media. Take a look at this photo of what it appears to be a crowd at Jacksonville Beach. A crowd at Jacksonville Beach. Now take a look at this photo taken around the same time on the same stretch of beach. The crowds appear thinner, more space between people. Mayor Curry reopened Duval County beaches for exercise, pointing to data that show the coronavirus curve was flattening here in Jacksonville. And the move was applauded by many locals, but scorned by people around the country and even across the globe as premature in the middle of this pandemic. Journalists have taken flack for videos and pictures showing the crowds as well. The News 4 Jack's IT, or team, that is, is working hard to keep you informed so you can stay safe. We begin with News 4 Jack's reporter Vic Michalucci, who has been covering the partial reopening of the beaches continuously since last Friday. And he's joining us now from South Jacksonville Beach with his perspective. Well, it sure looks beautiful out there, but it does look busy, Vic. It is a beautiful evening right out here. We're about 30th Avenue South here in Jacksonville Beach. And if you look behind me, you will see what appears to be a lot of people, hundreds to say the least. And that's the perspective from a lot of the photos that people are looking at, including one which we showed you from a Getty Images photographer. He took it just after five o'clock on Friday as a lot of people came to the beach. Now we want to zoom out and I want to show you the perspective from a different angle. As you look east, you will see a whole lot of sand and a lot more spacing. So really, it is all about the different camera angles and the interpretations from people all across, not just the country, but the world as far as what this situation is like reopening Jacksonville area beaches. When Jacksonville area beaches reopened partially on Friday afternoon, there were crowds, the first beachgoers cheering live on TV. Get some exercise, keep moving. Within minutes, people were up and down Duval County's coast. And the internet went wild. Thousands across the world criticized local leaders and beach visitors, accusing them of being reckless during the pandemic. You go to the beach to walk or exercise. If you go in your neighborhood to walk or exercise, same thing. We are going to have to be very disciplined about our behaviors. Jacksonville Mayor Lenny Curry, who made the ultimate call to reopen the beaches for limited hours and activities, responded to the criticism this afternoon. He's standing behind the decision as safe. We got out early in terms of closures uh, and we took some flack, certainly not the kind of flack we took nationally, and internationally this last weekend. But here's my commitment to the people of Jacksonville. I'm not going to make decisions uh, based on how I think uh, critics outside of this city. Uh, or, or certain news outlets are going to react and talk about us. Many people speculated that the pictures of crowded beaches were fake or from a different time. The images we showed do look different. That's because shots on the ground show a lot of people in the distance, whereas shots from our Sky 4 helicopter, for example, show people keeping their distance. But police say up and down the coast, there were thousands of people every day. Neptune Beach officers noting holiday-like crowds. Violators who weren't distancing or keeping moving were warned and in almost every occasion listened to law enforcement. And residents say people were, for the most part, acting responsibly. People out on the beach have been keeping an appropriate distance. Um, it's been more crowded on First Street here, to be honest, uh, on daily exercise before they open the beaches. So if anything, it's given people a little room to spread out. And the beaches are open for about uh, two more hours until 8 p.m. tonight. Then they'll reopen again tomorrow from 6 a.m. until 11 a.m. I did speak with representatives from all three of the beaches police departments, and they told me that they do have the situation under control. However, they are bringing in extra officers to help with the patrols, to help with the crowds, and some of them also bringing on lifeguards onto the chairs. That was just announced in Neptune Beach, where they are bringing lifeguards out a little bit early to make sure everyone is safe on the sand and in the water. We're live in South Jack's Beach. I'm Vic Michalucci, Channel 4, The Local Station. Well, Vic, did police take any action against beach violators this past weekend? There are some rule breakers. We see the majority of people following the rules, but here at the Duval County beaches, we know of two separate arrests. One was on Sunday, yesterday, 
and that was a wanted fugitive from the Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania area. Police tell me that he was wanted for a homicide up there. Officers were able to spot him, recognize him. They questioned him and then they took him to the jail where he's awaiting extradition. So they're very happy about that. The second one happened on Saturday, and that is an 18 year old man who police say was running up and down the beach. When the beach was closed, he ignored their orders and ultimately got arrested for that. All right, Vic Michalucci reporting to us live from the beach.